Hello, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm going to look into what your part. Well, just going to do like a quick energy update. My my intention is mostly to see what exes might be coming back around, especially with Mercury retrograde coming up in the near future. Just want to see what's going on with that. So keep in mind that if you're if you're following my channel and you're watching my specific zodiac sign videos that this reading may not resonate for you um, or it may resonate with a different X than the one that I'm channeling on the um, specific zodiac reading. So just keep that in mind. Remember that you also have a new love. So whatever I get here, you still have a choice. You still, you know, the people that are drawn to my videos have new love that's either just come in or new love that's coming in in the near future. So please keep that in mind that whatever I get today with the X, you're not stuck to that. You can set boundaries. You can say no. You can say, I want something new. I want something better. I want something different. And you can manifest your ex or your, sorry, you can manifest a new person into your life instead. But let's see what the ex, let's see who is coming back around. Who's coming back around? Who wants to come back around? Seven of Cups. The sun, the emperor, hmm, someone sees that you're in your power and that you're kind of moving on or that you're doing better for yourself. You're not as focused on them as you were and they're, they're noticing you. See with this sun energy, it's like he or she is moving on and then this emperor is, is looking at this energy like, oh, she's just leaving this rose behind too. She's like letting it scatter to the wind, just letting things flow in her life instead of grasping on to everything. And that energy of letting things flow, um, of just letting things happen naturally is also what's bringing this back, what's bringing this around. Because I think for a while you obsessed over this, like you were trying really hard to manifest this back. And I think you started focusing on other things or you just started, I think you started reaching a breaking point where you're like, I can't control this anymore. You know, you've been working on control issues and working on just letting things happen naturally in your life. And so this is um, manifesting this person back. Okay. Interesting energy. We got, can you see that? I guess it would help if you could see the cards, huh? Might be useful. There we go. Okay. Seven of Cups, the Sun, the Emperor, the Six of Wands reversed, Strength. Six, uh, nine of Pentacles reversed, Four of Swords reversed, and Eight of Wands upright. Yeah, so the person that's coming back around is the Emperor, I feel. Or it could, could be male or female. It could be a female and Emperor energy, whatever your story is. It could be male, male, and female, female as well. It's, it's whatever energy you're in. But... I feel like you had some choices to make here. It's like you were dreaming about this person. You were missing this person. You were trying to manifest them back. And I think at a certain point, you just, you got, you changed your perspective. You just got tired of waiting on this person. And now that you're letting this go, this person wants to come back around. Like with the sun, it's like you're looking forward. And now this emperor who has been focused on his or her battle or her, or their life or whatever they've been focused on. Now they're looking back at you and they're realizing that your energy is flowing, that you're focusing on other things. You're focusing on yourself more. I think in the past you were really trying hard to get their attention with the six of wands reversed here it's like you really wanted that public attention that recognition but now you're kind of letting that go where you're just like you know what enough is enough strength card it's like you found you had to go inward and find your strength and get through this you know realize that this wasn't your happy ending even though you thought it was going to be um the four of swords reversed here it's it's like getting out of this sadness, getting out of like you rested enough, you healed enough, you were introverted, you isolated long enough, enough is enough, you know, is what kind of what you're saying. And now you're going towards this new life with the eight of wands. And oddly enough, you know, just as you do that, this is when that person comes back in because they feel the energetic shift. Even if you guys aren't talking, they feel that you are more confident, you're more attractive lately. You're doing your own thing more. You're not focusing on their energy more. And that's what's bringing them back in. You're kind of in this powerful queen of swords or king of swords energy where you're just, you know, starting to make the world your oyster. Starting to kind of just do what you want. And keep in mind, you know, this, 
you might be resonating with my specific zodiac readings um, that I do and this might not be your story or this might be a different ex than the one I'm channeling. So please keep that in mind. If it's not resonating, it's not your story. Angel de la Newt. So the darkness or the light after the darkness is what that card means. Knight of Wands. Yeah, passion, fire. Going forward could be even meeting a fire sign or something. Maybe that helped get your... Yeah, maybe you tried to manifest this person back and instead you manifested someone new and now this person is feeling that energy and they're wanting you back. They just feel an energy shift. They feel that you're that you're starting to that you're not depressed over them anymore. You're not missing them. You're not trying to you're not trying to get them back. You're not trying to you're not trying so hard to get their attention. Um, it's like a lot going on behind the scenes, like on a telepathic level. And it's like they feel that energy shift. They feel that they can't just come in and out the way that they used to be able to. Um, and, and so now they want to manifest you back before because they know that they know it's different. They can just feel it's different. Like I said, even if they're not talking to you, it's like they can just kind of it's like a telepathic connection here. Like they just kind of know that you're you're moving on you're you're focusing on other things maybe focusing on studying on knowledge on career on finances on the things that are best for you like you're putting your energy I think this person was hurting you too much and so you had to put your energy into some other things to distract yourself and then you found yourself on a better path and you started you know having this perspective shift where you're like not wanting this person quite as much as you did before you know there's still some nostalgia still some pain there Still some desire there, still some love, but it's like you're you're more focused on yourself. Yeah. Five of Pentacles. The High Priestess. And this is always the energy, especially for Gemini's. I always get that you guys are in this high priestess energy that you've been in that for a while, where you're just in you're reclaiming your power. And that's making you really attractive to people. Again, even if they can, even if you're not in physical contact, they're just they can feel that energy is so strong they can just feel it even if they're not talking to you they could be asking friends about you they could be spying on your social media as well and maybe they notice that like maybe in the past you made posts to try to get their attention like you posted stuff like dramatic stuff or like you know memes and stuff that would resonate with your situation like about loneliness and now you're just kind of like hey i'm out with my friends or hey look i just i just graduated or i'm i'm doing this i'm having fun i'm living my best life and they're like you know, they either physically see it or they feel it. And they, they know they know things are not the same. So the, and you're protective of that, too, because you worked hard for that. You're not going to just kiss this frog again. He or she is going to have to give you something more this time. What is this person wanting to say when they come back? And what do they, they want to do or say? They want a new start, a star, hope. They're holding out hope. They, wanna, they want to... Um, they want to start over. I don't really see it as like picking up where you guys left off. It's almost like they want like a new beginning with you. Like they want to take it slow. They maybe want to go to like couples counseling. If for those of you that were in serious relationships, um, it's like they just kind of want like a gentle nourishing energy. Like they don't want to jump into it, but they do. They want justice. They want um, something to happen here. They want to shift here. What do they what do they want to say? Like what are they gonna what do they've got to, what have they got to say about all this? The moon, knight of wands, yeah, mystery enchantment, noticing you, you know, power here. You know, it's like a final battle, but it's coming in. Page wanting to send you like it's weird, it's mixed energy because it's like they're passionate and emotional, but at the same time they want it to be stable and kind of slow. But it's like they want to come in with I think kind of like a passionate, emotional message, more openness. Because I think that they're realizing, I'm guessing maybe what happened is like they were kind of doing their own thing and like maybe maybe thought like, oh, eventually I'll come, I'll get back with this person or I'll, I'll play the field. I'll see what else is out there. And so it's like they kind of wanted to take it slow. And now they feel the energetic shift and they realize that you're not theirs anymore, that you might end up with somebody else. And so they're really wanting to come forward quickly so that they don't lose you. Um, but for a lot of you, they've already lost you. For some of them, you don't, they, you're not going to entertain this again. The fool, yeah, wanting a, new, wanting a new start. You know, being open and vulnerable and letting you know. What do they want to say about the Three of Swords? They want to make excuses for the heartbreak and say, you know, I had to go my own way or I had to do this or I had to do that. I needed something different for a while. Nah. Uh -uh. What else? 
Queen of Wands. Yeah, they see you in this energy. King or Queen of Wands, whatever whatever your story is. They see you as like this bright, vibrant, look at that. It's like a peacock goddess right there. I don't know, not a peacock. You know what I mean. It's like he or she just has natural beauty. Do you see that? It's like they're just powerful. They're enchanting. They're amazing. That's the light that they're finally seeing you in now that they don't have you. It's kind of like you were like old reliable before. And now it's like you're a whole new person because you've invested all the energy that you were investing into them, into yourself now. And you're changing. But the thing is, as you change, you don't want this anymore. You know, it's like you're kind of getting over this energy. What do they have to say? I don't know if I'm brave enough for this kind of love. So the thing is, they're not really, I don't think they're really ready. I think that they just feel that they're losing you. And so they're wanting to pull you back in. It's almost like they want to come in with this bold romantic gesture, like a bold romantic message. Like I'm, you know, I'm like explaining themselves, even making excuses for themselves. Like, you know, I had to do this. I had to do that, you know, kind of being passionate, open, like I miss you. My life is with you, blah, blah, blah. But then they want to like ease into like they want to come in really strong and passionately like full of emotion and then they want to take it slow again. Like they want to just kind of keep you on the hook. They want to pull you back in so they might make some bold gesture here. But then it's like once they have you again, like they're still not ready. They know that they're not ready, but they don't want to lose you either. And remember, you guys have new love too, so you don't have to go back to this. You've been showing up in my dreams lately. Yeah, you have a strong psychic connection with this person. Um, could be too that if you've been doing magic trying to manifest this person back, like doing love drawing spells, I think that you were holding on so tightly to this person that the love drawing spells weren't working because you weren't really trusting the universe. You were kind of like obsessing over this person or like wondering like when are they coming back when are they coming back are they coming back what's going on you know like just all that negative emotion kind of blocked the the for those of you that were doing love drawing spells I feel like all that negative emotion kind of blocked the love drawing spells you were doing and now that you're letting go and you're focusing on yourself and other things and they're not the center of your attention anymore now those love drawing spells that you did in the past are starting to work because the energy is clear. The energy is freed up for them to just work, you know? Like, you're having the faith in them. It's like you're not... Because you're not obsessing over them. You're not, like, worrying about them. Like, are they working? Like, when are they coming back? What's going on? What's, you know, yada, yada, yada going on this roller coaster. Um, like, this merry-go-round. And... So it's like now that you're letting go and you're focusing on yourself, your energy is cleared away from that. So your your spirit guides just have that energy to work with now. You know what I mean? So it's like it puts this clear path for those those love drawing spells to work. But you know, even like that's and you do have a psychic connection here too, which which benefits you guys a lot. You know, you do show up in each other's dreams, I believe. But even with that, it's like the love drawing spells might work. But it it's I don't know if it's gonna be what you want. It's like it's gonna draw them back in, and they're gonna be like aroused by you they're going to be like turned on by by the life changes you've made they're going to be proud of you but they're still not going to be ready you know what i mean like the love drawing spells maybe maybe getting them back to you but it's only if they're emotionally unavailable it's only going to go so far you know i think about you all the time the nostalgia hurts deeply you come off uninterested and detached yeah they know they don't have you on lockdown anymore Gossip and rumors, some kind of drama played a role in the separation. I wonder if you know about what that is. I've grown up and ready for commitment. Maybe some of them are. I feel like a lot of them are still just trying not to lose you. I will always find you. I'll always come back for you. I daydreamed about what it'd be like to be married to you. So yeah, this is a situation where the, the ball is, the things are finally shifting. The tables are turning. Things are finally shifting in your favor. I'm working hard to remove all the obstacles keeping us apart. I regret what I said to you. You're my safe space, my frequent daydream. Sometimes it feels easier just to live in this world that I created in my head. But then fantasizing about you sexually. Yeah, there's a strong energy of them being really turned on by you right now. Turned on by the life changes you make, you're making, by your dominance, your assertiveness. You're, you're taking charge of your life right now. You're getting out of this phase of sadness and you're focusing on yourself, making the world your oyster. You're in this high priestess or high priest kind of energy. And they're they're feeling that energy and they're really turned on by it. It's like they're really turned on by your confidence right now. But again, it's like they didn't want you when you were sad. They didn't appreciate you when you were sad, when you were missing them. And it's like now that you're changing, they want you. It's like really 
I'm thinking about what you said. I had a huge epiphany. For some of them, I'm sure it is genuine. I'm not saying it's not genuine for any of them. I'm just saying, think this through. Think this through. You came on strong. I wasn't ready for it, and you're my best friend. So I hope this resonates. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you want, I can look deeper into your situation. My um, email address is below. I have reading specials for January. I'm free to look into your situation. Just let me know. These cards are also available for sale. So just give me an e uh, just send me an email if you're interested. Thank you for watching and please subscribe too.